Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, we should be good. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, let's give our praises, honor, glory, and worship unto Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechakudash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles that do well overseeing the tabernacle of David, which are the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And greetings and salutations to you, Akim, the upholding testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. All right, um, of course, with a couple of servants out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. And um, I want to do a lesson on keeping the edge in this thing of ours. Keeping the edge, keeping your edge, all right, when it's truth, all right? The scripture says, let every man work mm -hmm. out his own salvation with fear and trembling. To have fear and to be in trembling of Yahweh Bashim that's keeping the edge in this thing of ours, mm -hmm. man. All right, you don't want to get too comfortable. You don't want to get too soft. You don't want to become too in love with the fleshy flesh, too in love with with the the affairs of this world. You know, it can mm -hmm. spoil you. It can um, it can compromise you. It can prevent you from being what you. Hey, Shalom. It, mm -hmm. it, it can pre prevent you from being um and doing what you got to do to be that elect, to be of that number. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, we can go ahead and, and get the precepts, and of course you got some words. Oh yeah, kind of. I land back off of the brother's point. I just thought, you know, with a, a quick memory with the um, the term being on fire, mm -hmm. and uh, or tr going into the Edom online concerning the, that term focus, mm -hmm. and it goes into being on fire, man. So mm -hmm. I just this land backing off that. All right, but so this is uh, Second Peter chapter one verse ten, and it reads, "Wherefore the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure." It says, rather, it says, wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence, all right? Which, if I'm not mistaken, in the Greek, that's spode, if I'm not mistaken, the term diligence, all right? Which is going into to studying, yes, it, it does mean that, but to earnestly contend for the faith, all right? Mm -hmm. And when you read in that chapter, it gives you the characteristics of what it means to give diligence. You have to have faith. You have to add to that faith the virtue. You have to have temperance. You have to have patience. You have to have godliness. Mm -hmm. These are the characteristics. The scripture says a man should be known by his fruit. Um, uh, and a uh, elect man, he's going to have temperance. He's going to have patience. Mm -hmm. You can wear fringes. You can talk a good talk. But if these characteristics are not in you, then you, you're you not that. And in order for us to be that, we have to in indeed walk in the spirit, man. All right, mm -hmm. the scripture says, walk in the spirit and fulfill not the lust of the flesh. That's keeping the edge. If you're mm -hmm. walking in the spirit, you're, you're walking that straight gate. If you're feeling the lust of the flesh, you've gotten comfortable. You've gotten sweet. You've forgotten mm -hmm. that first love. And we'll, we'll get that as well. But go ahead. Uh, wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Mm -hmm. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. So if, if you if you exercise those characteristics, those fruits of the spirit, you're never going to fall. But if mm -hmm. you if you if you compromise that, you is is no doubt about it. You're going to lose, man. As that goes mm -hmm. for all of us. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And yeah. it's the land back off the uh, the brother spirit concerning you know keeping the edge. You know, it's just as as is in, in the world, any occupation, any profession. It's always those individuals that uh, have that chip on their shoulder, mm -hmm. you know. Not one's not uh, going through, just going through the motions, and we right, know, right, and just right, referring right. to the truth, right. and then I just, you know, just showing up, just to show up, concerning, you know, doing video. What you know, the spirit is the spirit, you know. You doing these things uh, with, with with diligence, you mm -hmm. know, diligence going to that effort, man, earnestly contending for the faith, fighting a good fight of faith, you know, doing like the scriptures about to mention, um, doing everything you got to do. In order to endure until the end to be delivered. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So keeping that edge is only going to, it's only going to keep you uh, focused on fire in every aspect and form of the truth. All right. Because the, the truth is multifaceted. The, uh, the, the Apostle Raka brought that spirit mm -hmm. down here within the Great Millstone mm -hmm. Atlanta camp. Mm -hmm. It's multifaceted. It don't just stop with a video. It just don't stop with the few chapters you read. It mm -hmm. just don't stop. Because you went to camp, it doesn't it doesn't stop, right. you know. Right. Because right. you you did this or that, it's always something. It's always something you can never. It's truly you never can get bored, you know. Yeah. That's the thing about the truth, man. It's always, man. You know. Hold, let me grab that Sirach. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me Sirach forty three. 
Just because that's just, you know, from the uh, in season. Uh, I can read it. I got, I got it. This is uh, Sirach chapter 43, verse 30. It reads, When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary. Mm. Like that goes with what the brother was saying, you know, being soft and just, you know, going through the motions and just not having that um that fortitude in the mind, you know, that that seriousness or whatever the case may be. That's that's blocking you from, you know, going to, you know, reaching the potential. All right. To the best of our ability mm -hmm. on why we're on this side. Mm -hmm. It reads says, put forth all your strength and, and be not weary, for ye can for ye can never go far enough. So we, it's always something we can do as servants of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right. It's something we can always do, man. Whether that's whether that's a charity, whether that's right. uh lessons, whether that's uh camp, whether we're, hey, it's always something. Fellowship, all right, because it's say forsaken not the fellowship. Uh, while the, while you see the evil day approaching in the book of Hebrews, mm, yeah, so it's all yeah. it's always something, you know. We it, it, we always growing in one aspect or another. All right, you you want everyone will have their strength, their strengths and their weaknesses, mm -hmm. you know. That's so, right. That's why the scripture yeah. says, um, "So I Mashiach Yahushua, he mm -hmm. said, whenever two or more are gathered in my name, key yeah. point in my name, yeah, uh, we, right. uh, we haven't been." You know, getting on those guys in the recently because we, you know, it's been other stuff mm -hmm. to address. But you guys are going off by saying Jesus Christ and all these other idols. And he said in my name, and when he said that, he's talking about the name Yahweh. All right, but the scripture says, whenever two or more are gathered in my name, I am also mm -hmm. there. All right, so Yahweh is in the. Midst. That's why you want to have fellowship. I'm, I'm complimenting his, his his him speaking on fellowship. Because when you're gathered together in the spirit, all right, mm -hmm. and we're witness of, witnesses of this, all right, the spirit is more animated, more mm -hmm. things are revealed, yeah. uh, the, the understand your vision is become it becomes yeah. more clear. Mm -hmm. You know when you when you by yourself, demons can like you you really can be blind. Mm -hmm. You know you're thinking oh well I think I feel this way I feel that way, well yeah. really you're just you you're walking as a blind man, you right. know. That's that's why you know a, a lot of people that you you see um that fall out the truth. What, what what happens first? They begin to be you know separated from the body. You mm -hmm. know they don't they don't prioritize fellowship. They don't prioritize counsel. You know they mm -hmm. they, they don't look at the brotherhood as something that's set up and established right. by Yahweh. They don't yeah. look at the brotherhood as the body of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. You know. Go ahead. Yep. You got. It. You got. It. You go ahead. Okay, um, this is this is the book of Jeremiah. This is the book of Jeremiah, the 13th chapter, and the 16th verse. And it reads, it says, Give glory to Yahweh your God. All right? It says, Before he caused darkness, and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. So you're supposed to be giving glory to the Heavenly Father while it's day. You know, why you have the opportunity. Mm -hmm. You don't supposed to be slacking hands or well, I, I, you don't want to have an I'll get to a spirit, man. That's not being that's not being on the edge. Yo, this man you saw the banks mm -hmm. are failing. The, the the World Economic Forum is right. they spitting out their madness. This thing right. is about to go down. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to the scripture says, Behold, I come as a thief in the night. Yeah. You wanna you wanna be found worthy to be delivered from all these things. Mm -hmm. When that Karagma is pushed and there's no more food at Whole Foods and Kroger is nothing in there, that's when it matters. Mm -hmm. But you got to do, right now is keeping the, giving glory to the Lord, that's keeping the word of his patience. That's what you do right now. Mm -hmm. The book of Revelation speaks on that. It says, because thou has kept the word of my patience, yep. which is giving glory to Yahweh by Shemel Shah, teaching, edifying, having brotherly love. You mm -hmm. understand? He said, in continuation of Revelations, it says, I will also keep thee or preserve thee from the hour of temptation. Yep. All right? And that hour of temptation is none other is the mandatory implementation of the MOTB, which mm -hmm. is that insertable device that you're going to have to use to buy or sell, man. Yep. All right? Oraton yep. Pirmasas, man. Yep. That's it. And then just to land back on that point, man, that's that's keeping that oil in our, that's keeping that, that, that spirit of truth 
within us, you know, because with the Holy Spirit, by default, through the Holy Spirit, we already have an edge about ourselves concerning the sincere believers in, 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 in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Sincere believers at that. You know, we already have that that advantage, mm -hmm. you know, that edge. But it's what we we're, we're saying what? Keep keep the edge, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, maintain, you know, sustain, you know, through it all, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. But um oh and I was about to make uh, a uh, I'm finish this real quick. Okay, yeah, go it ahead. It says go ahead. it says, before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains, right. And those dark mm -hmm. mountains are those philosophies. If you don't give glory to Yahweh by Shimon Shah, right. if you don't take advantage of the opportunity that is, is bestowed upon you, you're gonna go and look at Islam and be like, oh, that sounds good. You know, you you gonna look at that woman and be like, oh, that woman, that woman's fine. And I'm talking about women, I'm talking about philosophies. You go, you gonna go look at you gonna go look at Christianity. You gonna go look at atheism. Mm -hmm. You are gonna go look at niggaism, and you can be like, you know what? That that makes sense. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you've been blinded by your own delusion and by your own pride because of disobedience. And the Lord, the Lord has to preserve you from stumbling, man. All right. Yeah. The script said, unless the Lord keep a city. The watchmen watch in vain, man. All right, so the Lord mm, has to preserve yeah. you, your temple, your body, all right, your city. All right, it says dark mountains. It says, and why ye look for light? Because a lot of people out there they looking for light. You got mm -hmm. people and you got right. Muslims. You got uh, you got Egyptologists guys. Yeah, TikTokers. They, you got TikTok. You got TikTokers mm -hmm. that they heard this truth, but mm -hmm. they didn't examine themselves and they didn't consider the value and the importance of acting upon this truth. So now they just got, they just somebody with, with talking points. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. just somebody with talking points, but you right. don't have the Rechak with that. You don't have the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And talking points are not going to sustain you when, when there's a famine. Mm -hmm. Talking points are not going to sustain you when, when, when Russia shoots missiles on America. Right. You're going to need the Holy Spirit. You're going to have to really be one of those guys. Mm -hmm. All right? It says, and while you look for light, he turned it into the shadow of death. And make it gross darkness. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. God, this is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Verse 11. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right. Yeah. The, the, cunning, the cunning arts of, of, of Esau Edom, our top enemy with us being Israelites, man. All right, the brother mentioned the, the, the bank, the economy is collapsing, it's falling, it's failing in every aspect and situation that you can that you can see. All right, through the through the banks, through the inflation, yeah. all right, in every aspect of the industries, the housing industry, the car industry, yeah. all right, the agriculture industry, and the food industry. Oh, they all right. fucking they spilling all type of chemicals into yeah. the water in the supply, waters, the water, so. into the Mississippi River. That's like the Nile of America. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you niggas are just going around playing patty cake, acting like everything is all right, acting like this is not mm -hmm. the fucking end, man. Right. And we're going to continue as you know, as prophets and watchmen, uh, being Israelites, being prophets and being servants of the Lord. We're going to continue to 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 reiterate these prophecies and especially the MOTB. All right, that because that's that's that helps us what keep an edge about what the hell is going on. Yeah. You know, keep yeah. an edge yeah. and, and be made and just and, and uh. Stay aware, not just be aware, but stay aware of what the hell is around it. That's why through the spirit, it was on the, the spirit of Apostle Tahar to what hey to encourage and exhort uh you know the the sincere prophets, you know, to hey if you if you, if it's on your spirit, push a hey, push out edify daily. You know, mm -hmm. that's why it was it was the spirit, mm -hmm. man. You know, because the scriptures do say edify uh edify and exhort one another daily. Yeah. You know, so it was on the spirit yeah. and it, it helps us in that in that through the spirit helps us even more. Stay aware, you know, stay active, you know. Yeah, it helps. It yeah. helps. It helps you stay sharp. It helps your vision yeah. to be more clear. Yeah. You know, you're not lax. You're always on the watch. See, that's what a real watchman does. He doesn't he he doesn't right. language. Right. But you other guys, you other Israelites, man, yeah, Judah more than the the gates yeah, thereof language. language. You guys yeah. are languishing, man. And you are black mm -hmm. into the ground, man. You are mm -hmm. very, you're gonna be very ashamed, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because you're not gonna have no living waters. All right, you you get you receive that, those living waters from right. being attached to the power source, which is your shot, man. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Ephesians chapter six, verse twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. That's why the mm -hmm. brother mentioned that 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 wine and those philosophies, those spirits, man. It says, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, 
against spiritual weakness in high places. Verse 13, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And that's what's on our minds. That's what keeps us on edge, man. These evil times that's approaching as, a, as the scriptures are already prophesied about. That keeps us on edge like, oh, shit, bro, famine right there. Sickness is around the corner. World War III. All right, Esau, you know, coming in as a flood concerning Jacob's trouble, concerning all out hell breaking loose. All according to, uh, we, we know this is all according to the scriptures, man, via the Holy Spirit. It says that ye may be able to, that ye may be able to stand, withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. So, yeah, we're doing everything in our power and our abil ability, you know, to, to stand, you know, to keep the faith, to grow in the faith. You know, like I mentioned before, the videos, camps, mm -hmm. all right, uh, classes. All right, mm -hmm. every every aspect, counsel, mm -hmm. all right, fellowship, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever, at, whatever aspect to, mm -hmm. uh, to in, in order to grow in the spirit, to withstand in that evil day, doing all to stand, man, because that's the ultimate goal, goal being delivered by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's the goal, man, as a Hebrew Israelite in these last days, right now, as a believer, you yeah. know. And with that, it's going to take an edge, man. It's going to take. Uh, resisting, resisting this system, this B system, resisting Esau, Edom. It takes right. that. Yeah, it, it takes that. And, and serving, and serving the Lord. You know, mm -hmm. you got it though. Yep. Uh, this is um, this is Revelations, the second chapter, in the fourth verse. It says, "Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love." All right. Mm -hmm. And what these Israelites did, and what a lot of what, what a lot of Israelites are, are doing. All right, is they forsook the post. They 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 forsook the mission. All right, and I, that doesn't mean oh he's he's became a um, a, a, a idol worshiper. That that can mean that you're not prioritizing this truth, man. You 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 be oh, oh you have your wives and you, now you're prioritizing your wives and. And and the truth has become secondary. You're very comfortable. You have you know your, your nice plates and your your houses and you. But what about what about your how about Shemal Shah's business? What about that? Why does your how Shah have to get it last? Why is that? We're supposed to be the brides of your how Shah. If you were that virgin with that light in your hand and you got the lamp, you that, that means you're prioritizing Mashiach. But see, if if you are that foolish servant that says, "My Lord, the layeth is coming," mm -hmm. then you're gonna have to receive that type of reward. This is not a. This is very black and white. It, mm -hmm. it, it, either you either you do what you got to do, either you're obedient, and either you deny yourself. He said, "Yahweh Shai said, he that cometh to me, right. let him deny himself." And bear his cross and follow me. You gotta do that. You have you have to do it. You know? And if you don't, if you don't, then you gotta you gotta deal with the consequence. You know? But um in continuation, it says, um, nevertheless I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love, which Yahweh Shah is supposed to be our first love. This mm -hmm. ministry, the service. Of, of the tabernacle of David, being priests, we're supposed to be serving and ministering towards the, the tabernacle. All right? It says, um, verse 5, Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. So consider that you are an angel that fell from his first estate. Consider that you are in error. If you're not serving, Yah, if, if you're not taking Yahweh Shai, and, and, and if he's not been a priority in your life, consider that you have fallen. A lot of people who have fallen, they don't even realize they they fell. Yeah. That's very terrible. And that's a very sad story. But but if you if you're seeing clearly, if you're humble, you'll be able to acknowledge and self reflect and see that you have fallen, and correct yourself and repent, man. Mm -hmm. All right. It says. It says, "Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, which the first works." Is, is the service of this ministry teaching edifying mm -hmm. you know having charity those are the first works man all right there's, there's, there's no replacement for those things <laughs> right yeah you it, don't, it don't just uh 
what get old. Yeah, yeah. We have we have the we have the we have the examples clear as day, man. Mm-hmm. The apostles and elders are great mm-hmm. millstone, man. Yeah. All right, we have the and that was and this is all of course it's the according to one's you know faith, but hey, that's according to the Holy Spirit that the Lord has set up. They didn't yeah. forget their first works, man. Yeah. That's one thing right. you can say about the apostles and mm-hmm. elders. Mm-hmm. No matter what you think about them and say about them, these right. guys they never forsook their posts. They, mm-hmm. they never neglected the honor of the tabernacle of David. Yep. They always stood on that. Yep. And we're, 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 not only are we seeing the fruit, we are the fruit of it. Right? Mm, yeah, yeah, right. That's why the scriptures mention that worthy of giving double honors. You yep. know? So It says that. Yeah. Um, in continuation, it says, it says, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick right. out of his place. And right. that's those foolish virgins. You don't want to be like those foolish virgins, who, dudes who came up in one west, but now, now they just don't see it. They can't. They have their vision lax. It's, it's languishing. You know, people who came up amongst us in Great Millstone. You got an individual whose name is a war, but the man had his candlestick taken away. The Lord is mean. You don't want to play with your how about Shimei It says, and for those who don't know the. In Hebrew, a war means light. Yep. But his, his eyes is so clear and evident that it's not there. Why? Because he forsook, he forsook the first works. He's an example for us all. He's not for us to mock. No, he's an example. And we don't want to be like that. So we gotta mm-hmm. we have to we have to maintain the post. It says, it says, I will come unto thee quickly and remove thy candlestick. Out of this place, except thou repent. All right, so the Lord is emphasizing the importance of repentance. Repent, yep. repent, repent, man. Mm-hmm. You got it, bro. Come on. This is um, Psalm chapter fifty-one, verse eleven. You know, cause it's a man. That's a fearful, and that's what keeps us on edge. The, like we mentioned before, the fear of the Lord. You know, this is Psalms uh, chapter fifty-one, verse eleven. It reads. Um, I started verse ten. It reads, "Create in me a clean, a clean heart." Old power and renew a right spirit within me, and we just and we just uh rehearsed, all right the, the righteous the righteous act of Passover, man. You know, want we want to remain a uh, a meatful servant, you know, for the for the Lord to use, man. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. meat for the master's use. You know, yeah, acceptable. All right, not meat as in, you know. Yeah, meat, yeah, I right? know, but just right, so understand yeah, English. right. The spell, yeah, the English, right. Yeah. Verse eleven, it reads, "Cast me not away from thy presence." This is what we hope in. You know, we hope to for the Lord to not what continue on says and take not the thy Holy Spirit from me, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. That's what we like. The brother mentioned earlier, with the Lord, it's going to take the Lord to and give us that increase. As these times approach, as these evil days are approaching, yeah. it's gonna be the Lord to do these things. Yep. But as long as we have that right, uh, that right spirit and acceptable spirit, the Lord is gonna do it. Yep. The Lord is gonna do it for us, man. Yep. Because of, cause what second we read, we started off with Second Peter chapter one verse ten. If you if you do these things, you shall never fall. It says that. We got we got the foundation, man. We just gotta stick to it. You know, whether no matter how repetitive, you no know, repetitive or somewhat tedious or bo- whatever the case may be, man. Or bitter, all right, because it's not gonna be always fun and games, you know. The the rebukes, the, the, the chastisement spiritually, okay. We got we got it. We we have no choice but to see see it through. We have no choice but to endure. The, the Lord gave us the Lord gave us no excuses at the end of the day, and we know that that's the bitter part, all right. Whether right. they like, cause we understand striving to strive for the truth until death. That's right, what right. And we got to go through a guillotine. We know these things. That's these are the bitter things, man. That we gotta continue to read, continue to feed our spirit and swallow yeah. every time, you know? We gotta yeah. eat the sweet and the bitter. A lot of the mm-hmm. people, see the Passover, is, is a, a component of the Passover, of the Pesach, is bitter herbs, mm-hmm. you know? And when you go into it, that bitter herbs represents the sacrifice and the suffering of Yahweh yep. Shai, you know? He went through it and he's better than me and you. What do you. What do you expect? Us being maggot sinners the way we done did on this earth. And we don't, we, so we just not going to go through it? Right. Are you serious? You said the servant's not greater than his master. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Mm-hmm. We're going to be persecuted. 
The question is, do you have the character and the resolve to endure through it? That's the question. Isn't if we're going to be persecuted. The question isn't if we. It isn't if we're going to. They're going to seek our life and, and possibly put some of us to death. That's not the question. The question is, are we going to have the grit, the character, and the stability yeah. to overcome death and to overcome that? Mm -hmm. And this is what we're preparing to do. We're preparing for that hour. Everything we're doing, all the way, they say it's boring. Well, there's wax in, wax off for us. <laughs> right. Everything that we yeah. do is to prepare us for that one hour. Mm -hmm. For that hour of temptation. You know? And if we, if we believe, we truly do believe that the man of the Lord, you know, starting from apostles and elders on down, we really do believe that we're going to win. We, 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 that's right. something that we truly believe. Yep. So, like, bro. I guess we we can end it off with this. Um, this is Luke chapter twenty one, verse thirty six. It reads, "Watch ye therefore and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man." That's the hey, that's the end goal. That's the ultimate result that we that we hope that we hope in that we believe in without seeing the chariots of the Lord, without seeing Yahweh shot. Without seeing the kingdom of heaven being established, all right. Without seeing an a angel right in front of our face, mm -hmm. this is what we hope in, all right. And we and we're watching, we're watching the prophecies come to pass. We're watching these mm -hmm. evil days approach. Mm -hmm. We're we're aware of what's taking place around us, man. Yeah. Okay. But we're hoping to be what accounted worthy to escape these things because uh, via the scriptures, all right. Those pre those that are written within the book of life are already preordained and predestined to be delivered in these times. We just hope to be part of that number because it's yeah. going to be somebody. Yeah, yeah, right? that's it's not going... a question. If, no, we already know that. <laughs> right. That's we, like... just hope to, we just hope to be of that number. Right, exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah. You hope to be of that number, man, as the hopeful elect, you know, and to, uh, and to stand before the Son of Man, whether that's the, the dead in Yahweh Shai, because the dead are going to rise first, all right, or those that remain and that, and that don't taste of death, all right, because we're gonna have, you're going to have individuals and believers here that won't even that won't even taste of death, man. That won't even die b before the uh, Yahweh Shai returns, man. All right, so it's gonna you're gonna it's basically that's that's a no excuse right there. Oh, that was just about to get no, nah, it's no excuse, mm -hmm. you know. So hey, Lord willing, you had anything else? That's all, brother. Kind of, yeah. So Lord willing, uh, the the point was made about a hey, keeping the edge and the truth, a hey, keep going, keep pushing, do whatever you have to do to maintain the, the faith and the hope in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, so Lord willing, this was edifying and also encouraging to all, to all the sincere believers, to all the brothers, all right, who went in all by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chavodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and hey, repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, hey, Shalom. Shalom. Hey, Shalom. Yep.